Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Tuesday. Today I'm coming at you with an updated wear and tear video on my Louis Vuitton Josephine wallet. This video has been requested by a few of you guys since I talked about repairs on my previous Mix Monday, but before I continue, I just want to let you guys know that I actually have three jo Josephine wallets. I have them, I have one in the monogram that you see here, Dami Azura and Dami Ben. However, all of mine are the older versions, uh, not as far as how many compartments they have and the size of them, but as far as the hardware and the colors that you get in them. Uh, but I have had these from anywhere from two to three years, so I can really do an in-depth review, and I have had some repairs on one of them. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of the Josephine, so that way if you're not familiar with it, you guys can know exactly what to expect if you decide to pick up this item. And then uh, we will talk about each print individually, and I will talk about any wear and tear that I had, and then they all have one thing in common that I have had to get repaired. And I will talk about that at the very end. All right. So before I forget, uh, the Josephine is seven and a half inches in length, 3.9 inches in height. And if you do get the monogram, it is available in four different colors, if I'm not mistaken. And whatever color you get on the outside, as far as the button goes, which is a uh, calfskin leather, uh, it actually has the same color on the inside. So it is a snap button closure. You pop it open and it looks like this. It is a trifold wallet. And like I said, if you get the red button, obviously they don't have the red button anymore. I believe they have mimosa, fuchsia, uh, chili red, which is more like an orange. And I think think they have a white, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. It might be Rose Ballerine, but whatever color you get always matches the inside. Okay. So as I said before, it is a trifold wallet. This wallet is the most compared to the Emily wallet since they do have the same price point. The only difference is that the Emily wallet, when you open it up, it has the four credit card slots here. So for a little bit added, per um, features, security features. I like the fact that you have one more fold. So you do have four credit card slots here. You have a slip pocket on the back. You have this removable little zippered pouch that is intended for coins, but I don't use it for coins. You have another slip pocket here. And the great thing about this back pocket is the fact that it goes all the way down the length of the wallet. So if you have larger bills or if you have something that you don't want everyone to see when you open up your wallet, it is really good to be able to put that in there. And this features the calfskin, the grain calfskin lining, and obviously you have the canvas. And it does have the gold hardware on the backside of the red button or whichever button you choose. And you can see the gold here. All right, so this one I have not had to get repaired, um, but I will give you guys some a close and personal views on the wear and tear. The first thing to notice with the Josephine, because if, if you do decide to get the color button, which I think all of them now come with the colored button feature, is the fact that this is a little bit, um, this is going to get a little bit more worn out than the canvas, obviously, because this is leather. So as you can see, it has a little bit of a, um, a little scratch marks you know, the color doesn't look as consistent as with the rest of the button because of that. It almost looks like it was starting to peel. I have not had any, pro any problems whatsoever with varnishing. I'll bring it up as close as I can. Hopefully it focuses in as you can see there. Uh, one of the problems that people sometimes have with the Josephine wallet when they open it up because it is a trifold wallet is the fact that this flap in here will sometimes tend to get worn. But as you can see, I have had no problems on mine whatsoever. The varnishing still looks intact. I believe this wallet is two and a half years old and I think it still looks really great. With the exception of the button, I mean, I, I, li I like the fact that I've had no problems with uh, any of the varnishing whatsoever or the calfskin leather for that matter. But there it is. Uh, with these types of wallets, because you have a little bit of a thinner canvas, you will start to see that these kind of, not, they don't tend to curl up, but you can see that Obviously, I have used this wallet a ton, but you can see that they start to kind of lift off a little bit more. They're not as flat up against uh, the rest of the wallet. All right, but here we go. No color transfer whatsoever on the calfskin. Maybe some, maybe it looks a little bit darker right there, as you can see as I move it around. You can see the little marks, but I still think it looks pretty good. And it's not shiny. It's not, it hasn't turned very shiny. You know, when you use a monogram piece for, for a very long time, it'll start to get shiny and it won't be as textured. I still see the little textures, the little pebbles throughout there. So I still think it looks pretty good. 
All right, so there is the monogram one. Next, we have the Demi Azor. A lot of people are frightened by the Demi Azor because of color transfer, especially when it comes to money and coins and things of that nature. I have had no problems whatsoever. I haven't had to get the varnish replaced or the hardware. I think it still looks pretty good. It's still the gold tone. It hasn't tarnished. There might be some um, scratches on here, but let's take a look at the varnishing. There we go. I think it still looks good. And usually with uh, with any Demi Azor piece, if you do get it, whether it's the Josephine or any type of wallet, the varnishing will always be really, really light. So again, you're very worried at the fact that um, the dirt that your, you know, that your hands get as you're handling this, it'll start to get dirty. But as, I, as you can see, I've had no problems. And uh, I do believe that once upon a time, I did clean it off with a little bit of uh, Dawn. I don't recommend that. I mean, it... it didn't do anything to me, but I'm not saying that's what you should do to clean it out. But I had, had I didn't have any problems because it's not a very harsh, um, not a very harsh soap. So I did dab a little bit on there and I did clean it off as far as the canvas goes, but not the varnishing. So there you go. And let's pop this one open. I think it looks great. This one, you can see that it has a little bit more of the credit cards starting to Okay. This one's starting to curl up maybe just a little bit. You can see the wear on here. But again, as I said before, with trifold wallets, uh, you see that the, the little folds here start to wear. And as you can see, I've had no problems whatsoever. I think it still looks pretty good, especially for having the white grain calfskin lining. I think that it has held up quite, quite nicely, if I do say so myself. There it is. And... I think it looks great. <laughs> I forgot to take out this one, but this one also has varnishing along the side and I've had no problems with that as well. All right, there we go. And just so you guys can see what I see. I like to show every possible angle just in case and the button. So the Demi Azor actually has the gold tone button, but I believe now it comes with the white. It almost looks like an off white uh, button, but I kind of like the gold, the gold tone. I like the gold tone a lot. <laughs> there it is. All right. So we've had no problems with that one. All right. Now we come to the Demi Aben. This one I have had to get repaired. Uh, I actually got it repaired a few months it was almost a year, no, maybe a few, maybe like six or seven months after I got it, uh, I had to get it revarnished because of the same thing that I told you guys. With the trifold wallets, uh, any of the varnishing, if you keep getting in and out of the wallet, it'll start to crack. So mine started to crack just a little bit. And I'm the type of person that I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I had it done before the year was up that I've had this item and it was done free of charge. So I didn't have to worry about that whatsoever. So I did have to get that done. Now with the Damia Ben, it also comes in the gold tone hardware. Now it comes in the red, which I'm so bummed out about. Um, but I have the chocolate interior and now it comes with the red interior because it matches the red button. So it's very similar to the monogram, but this one is my, it's one of my favorites. The, mo the monogram one is my favorite definitely because of the red, but this one doesn't have, um, as noticeable of the curling here. Maybe it has it more so on here. And the, the little, the calfskin lining in here is very, very soft. And I will be talking about that in just a second. So after I got this revarnished, I thought that maybe it would start to happen again. And it has been maybe a year and a half since I got it revarnished and I've since used it and I still haven't had any problems with the varnishing coming apart. So, uh, if that ever does happen, just, uh, obviously there is a possibility that it could happen again, but I am here to tell you that I have had nothing happen with my wallet. Everything is a case by case scenario, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick, um, you know, glance as far as what you guys can see on mine. I have literally had no problems whatsoever. And the varnishing will look a little bit more noticeable when you get it repaired versus when it's brand new. Because let me show you guys. See how this one's a little bit shinier, the varnishing, and it's a little bit a little bit thinner. When you get it revarnished, it's a little bit more dull and it seems like it's a little bit more prominent. Um Maybe it's just because I know it's there, but I have noticed the difference between the two. So let me put it side by side so you guys can see. This one was, is the Demi Ben. Just looks like it's a little bit more pronounced as far as the varnishing goes. All right. 
So there's a button. The button still looks great. It has a few scratch marks, but nothing too drastic. Hairline, hairline fractures, if you will. <laughs> there it is. And then let's open this guy up. No problem with this little guy as far as the the leather goes or the zipper. It's a very smooth zipper. I forgot to mention that as well. In the beginning, it's a little bit tough, but after that, it loosens up. And no problems whatsoever with this cracking, varnishing, nothing whatsoever. There we go. And there we go. All right. All right. So all in all, I highly do recommend this wallet. And what I'm going to talk about is what I told you guys in the beginning that this wallet has all three of these wallets have something in common. All right. So when I first got these, uh, I wanted to, two of them were gifts. One of them I bought myself and I was very, um, I was very worried as far as, you know, carrying my items and, and I wanted to make sure that they stayed in the box and the dust bag and what have you. Okay. So I am here to tell you guys that you need to take your items out. If they have quite a bit of leather, if it's all, if it's an all canvas item, uh, I think you'll be okay. But as far as an all, if, if the item has leather and it has very thin leather, as I talked about earlier with that calfskin leather, all of these items in here, some of them are in their, in their box and in the dust bag. Most of them are on the bottom shelf in dust bags below that you'll see. Uh, however, with these three items, I did notice that in the beginning, as I said before, since I wanted to care for them as much as I possibly could, uh, they, the inside of these little coin pouches, the inside lining started to bubble just a little bit. So let me show you guys. Do you see that bubbling? All right, so this is what I was talking about as far as uh, the why I had to get, have it repaired. And um, do you see them right there? All the newer ones, I honestly think that they, ch I, I kind of felt around between the older or the newer version and my old version. And these felt a little bit thicker versus mine. So maybe that's why they revamped them a little bit now so that you don't have that problem. Um, but let me show you guys the other one. So all three of them have them. And it's because in the beginning stages, they were in the box. Do you guys see that? Let me see if I can bring it up closer. So they were in the box uh, probably a year, a year and a half into having each of them. I started to bring them out and they were just in the dust bag on the shelf below. Uh, and I started to notice, I didn't... I didn't really notice them too much. And then I really noticed it the other day when I started to use it and I looked at all three of them and it's because I left them in the box. So I'm telling you guys, if you can, please take them out of the box because this might happen to you, especially when you have a thinner, uh, when you have a thinner leather on the inside of any wallet or any, um, your on prompt pieces, because they have that really soft leather as well on, on the inside zipper. You want to take that out, make sure that you don't have any bubbling. I don't live somewhere where it's humid, uh, but you never know because you want to make sure that the leather breathes. So I always tell you guys to take them out of the boxes, whether it's with Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, whatever it is, you want to make sure that that leather breathes so that you guys don't have this problem. Uh, so because of this, the wallets are pretty much, I mean, in great shape, but it was my own doing that this happened. And I have since, um, uh, I am replacing these three pieces so that I have, you know, my wallets back to the way that they should be, because this does bother me. I feel like it might start to peel. It might start to crack. I don't know. So I want to be able to, uh, to stop that in the future. But let me see if I, I don't know if I showed you guys the white one. <laughs> Maybe I did. I think I did. And I like these little pouches because these are great. If you ever decide to go really, really compact, compact because they're so thin, you can fit quite a bit in here. And uh, I like the fact that they have the made in wherever it was and it matches the wallet. So just so you guys know, this is going to happen. And the crazy thing is, is that I think because I'm getting these little pouches replaced, they won't have the same made in France that they have now because all of my wallets are made in France. And I think these are going to be made in the U S so that does bum me out a little bit. Um, but there it is. So I just thought I would give you guys a little bit of a heads up as far as not 
putting them in your boxes because this can happen to you. But all in all, I still do recommend the Josephine wallet. Uh, I forgot to tell you, I don't know if I told you guys how much they retail for $480 here in the States. And I think it has a fabulous price point, especially because it is a longer wallet. And for those of us that don't carry too much, I think this is great because you have four credit card slots here. Although because you have the zipper compartment, you can fit more credit cards in here. If you would like, you can fit your bills in here. You can fit your bills in here. There's just so much. Um, there's so much that you can use with this wallet. And I seriously don't think that you can beat the price, whether you get the Josephine or whether you get the Emily, I think both are fantastic wallets. I talk about them all the time. I am bummed out because I personally did this to my wallet, but had I uh, left it out of the box, it would still look beautiful and intact. Uh, but that is just a quick, um, just a quick update on those. So there, that is my wear and tear on the beautiful Josephine wallet. Don't let what happened to me deter you from getting this wallet. This is fantastic. Don't be afraid of the trifold because as you can see, I have had no problems with the wear and tear whatsoever on them. And uh, I think they're absolutely great. So recommend them 100%. Love these. Uh, all right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will possibly see you tomorrow. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.